guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a makeup tutorial and I love doing makeup tutorials because they're super simple to film and it barely takes up any of my day. So today's makeup tutorial is a like rusty red glam grunge and it's what I'm wearing now so it's just quite simple to do. It doesn't take very long at all and I feel like my eyeshadow skills are improving so I thought I would do this video and yeah I just really hope you enjoy it and I hope it gives you some inspiration on like some autumnal makeup looks because I love this makeup look for the autumn. I think it's very autumnal and very like red and rusty and I just really love it. And keep watching to see how to achieve this look. So to start off this makeup look I'm just going to take my Healthy Mix by Bourjois and this is in the shade 52 Vanilla and my MAC Face and Body Foundation which is in the shade N2 and I'm just going to mix these two together on the back of my hand and then I'm just going to take my Real Techniques Stippling Brush and I'm going to blend them together all over my face. So then to start the next step of this look, I'm just going to take my Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette in the palette named Flawless. And I'm just going to take this pinky shade here with my Real Techniques pointed crease brush in their Bold Metals collection. Then once I've applied the pinky eyeshadow, I'm just going to apply some of this gorgeous red colour from the same palette. And this is just a uh, really subtle red and I'm just going to apply this with my finger because I just find it's the best application. Then once the full lid is covered I just take a really small detailing brush and then I take the dark red from this palette on the small detailing brush and I just go in the crease and graduating outwards just to create a darker ombre effect. And then once I've got the eyeshadow look done, I just go around my eye area where there has been some eyeshadow transfer and I just go around with the concealer brush by Real Techniques and my Makeup Revolution concealer pad. And then to blend that all in, I just take my Real Techniques stippling brush once more and my MAC face and body, just a tiny bit and I just buff this all around the eye area to blend in the concealer. Then once that's all buffed into perfection, I just take my Bourjois Liner Pinsu Liquid Eyeliner in Ultra Black and I love this eyeliner so much, I just think it's amazing and I just line my lids and then do a slight winged eyeliner look. So once my liquid eyeliner is complete, I will just move on to mascara and for this I'm just using Max Factor's False Lash Effect in black and I just think this mascara is one of the best I've ever used, especially for a drugstore product, I just think it's incredible and I absolutely adore it. So once I've completed my mascara, I just go in with the Real Techniques Detailer Brush. I take the lighter red that I used earlier and I just concentrate on my lower lash line. Moving on to brows, I just take my Bee Groomed Eyebrow Kit from Superdrug by Bee. And this is in the shade Dark Brow. I just start to shade in my brows before going in with the Benefit Give Me Brow. Once my brows are all plumped and shaded in, I will then just take my Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette in the shade Golden Sugar 
and I will then just take my Real Techniques Bold Metals Flat Contour Brush and I will take the lighter dark shade from this palette and I will just cover the brush in that and then just concentrate on my cheekbones. And then I will take a Clinique blush brush which I got free and a gift set a couple of years ago and I will just take Makeup Revolution Mono Baked Eyeshadow in Heavenly and I'm just going to use this as a highlighter because I think it works amazingly. Then I just take my Real Techniques blush brush and I just buff that all in. So I will buff in my contour and my highlight together so that there's not so many harsh lines. Then to set that all in place and just to add some more coverage to my forehead and chin, I'll just take my MAC Medium Mineralized Skin Finish and I will just buff this all over my forehead and chin and also a tiny bit to my cheeks. So for my lipstick, I am taking the Kiko Unlimited Style in a really dark red shade, and this is the shade 06. So this is the final look completed. I have literally just blow dried my hair and straightened like the sides here just so it's not too frizzy and yeah blow dried my fringe as well and yeah that is the complete look done. I've just put on a asymmetric jumper top thing and some pretty earrings which I thought matched this makeup look quite well and yeah that is the complete look done everything done and it didn't take very long at all it's super super simple and i would love to know if you guys try this makeup look out let me know in the comments below what you thought of it if you do happen to try this makeup look out and you happen to take a selfie afterwards make sure you tag me in it on twitter or instagram or facebook or snapchat anywhere i will leave all of my social media links below so make sure you reach out to me on those and yeah i will see you next week with another video i hope you enjoyed this makeup look and also comment below if you want me to do more makeup tutorials okay see you later bye